You are what you eat. According to two new genetic studies, you are what your mother, father, grandparents, and great-grandparents ate. Diet, be it poor or healthy, can so alter the nature of one's DNA, that those changes can be passed on to the progeny. While this much has been speculated for years, researchers in two independent studies have found ways in which this likely is happening. The findings, which involve epigenetics, may help explain the increased genetic risk that children face compared to their parents for diseases such as obesity and diabetes. The punchline is that your poor dietary habits may be dooming your progeny, despite how healthy they will try to eat. Epigenetics Epigenetics refers to changes in gene expression from outside forces. Different from a mutation, epigenetic changes lie not in the DNA itself but rather in its surroundings, the enzymes and other chemicals that orchestrate how a DNA molecule unwinds its various sections to make proteins or even new cells. Recent studies have shown how nutrition dramatically alters the health and appearance of otherwise identical mice. A group led by Randy Jurdel of Duke University demonstrated how mouse clones implanted as embryos in separate mothers will have radical differences in fur color, weight, and risk for chronic diseases depending on what that mother was fed during pregnancy. That is, the nutrients or lack of the rough changed the DNA environment in such a way that the identical DNA in these mouse clones expressed itself in very different ways. Recently, AP Penn began an international clinical trial, Nipper, also known as the Nutritional Intervention Preconception, and during pregnancy to maintain healthy glucose metabolism and offspring health. The study is assessing whether a nutritional drink taken before conception and throughout pregnancy could help support healthy glucose metabolism in mothers. As Silva Zaletsi explains, maternal blood glucose levels may already be high long before gestational diabetes is diagnosed at around 28 weeks of pregnancy. This could affect both mother and fetus, putting them at higher risk of metabolic conditions, such as type 2 diabetes, later in life. Adjusting nutrition early in pregnancy, or even before conceiving, could potentially help stop or slow down that process. In a study conducted at the German Research Center for Environmental Health and published in Nature Genetics in 2016, genetically identical mice that consumed a high-fat diet were more likely to produce obese offspring with impaired glucose tolerance, an early sign of type 2 diabetes. Nor are epigenetic impacts limited to obesity and diabetes. A 2014 study in science conducted by the University of Cambridge revealed that undernourished pregnant mice bore offspring with glucose intolerance and pancreatic issues. Moshe Ziff, a geneticist at McGill University Medical School in Montreal, is investigating the epigenetic basis of multiple diseases, including depression and Alzheimer's. He recently contributed to a paper in Biological Psychiatry in February 2017 on the connection between maternal infection in pregnant mice and the risk of neurodevelopmental disorders in their offspring. Even so, Ziff says that drawing clear relationships between epigenetic signals and disease is difficult. In animal studies, we've seen that changes in diet may impact risk for disease, he says. But it's not yet clear in humans. One complication is the sheer complexity of the epigenome. Along with diet, exercise, environment, and mood may affect gene expression. In a 2014 study published in Epigenetics, scientists at the Karolinska Institute in Sweden asked 23 men and women to the bicycle using only one leg for 45 minutes, four times a week over three months. In comparing muscle biopsies before and after the experiment, scientists found that, in the exercised muscle, new patterns had developed on genes associated with insulin response, inflammation, and energy metabolism. Even emotional traumas can be transmitted to subsequent generations through epigenetic inheritance. A 2016 study conducted by New York's Mount Sinai Hospital and published in Biological Psychiatry suggests that the genes of the children of Holocaust survivors showed evidence of an increased likelihood of stress disorders, for example. Nutrition, exercise, and other environmental factors are just part of the puzzle that affects an individual's risk to develop particular conditions or disease, Silva Zaletsi says. But the more we look, she says, the more answers we'll find, and the better we can work to improve health.